today just feels like a good day for a little comparison. So we've got the Prime RVX 4, which has 34 inch ATA, and we have the Matthews Lift 33 with a 33 inch ATA, both at 70 pounds. We're gonna see which one can fly faster. As I've stated before in my previous videos, I use a heavy arrow, I got 560 grain arrows. A lot of it has to do with, I used 250 spine because I like to shoot um, 80 pounds. I have typically 31 inch draw length, but the Prime Max is out at 30.5, so I put the lift at 30.5 as well. Um, so draw length means long arrow, GPI on those arrows, can't remember what it is, but add that together plus a brass insert, plus the veins, knocks, all that stuff, 100, point, 100 grain field tip. You get 560 grains. So let's see how fast these bows shoot. We'll start out with the Prime because, well, we haven't shot the Prime in a little while here and I kind of want to. I'll load it up and let's rip. It's got the Hamski Epsilon rest on here, which uh, is a pretty nice rest. I happen to like it. Let's see, make sure I'm at the right yardage here. And I'm not lying, I don't have two cameras, so I can't show you 285 feet a second. Um, but maybe I'll try and get a shot from the other side in a second here. Let's do the lift. Now I'm going to pull this back. I have an analog scale with the spring. Let's just make sure. Oh, by golly. Somehow that measured wrong the first time. It is 10 pounds less. Well, that's when you make things fair, right? That's what it's all about. And we'll measure that in a second here, just to make sure I don't go too far. Going too far is not preferable. <sighs> Looks like we gotta go out three notches. Hit that one more time. And there we go. Let's see what happens. Two hundred sixty-four point five. Two hundred sixty-four point five. Had to repeat it just so that it was understood and could be heard clearly. 264.5. All right, here we go. Matthews lift. Two hundred sixty-three point nine. Two hundred sixty-three point nine. So of the two bows here, the Prime RBX thirty-four and the Matthews lift thirty-three, the Prime wins the speed test. Is it winning by a lot? No. Um, as far as shootability goes and how quiet and dead in the hand these bows are, neither of them have stabilizers on them right now. Um, I'm going to shoot these again and just mentally really focus on how they feel and give you a little comparison there. Let's go to the Prime RBX first again here. Um, we're going to do draw. I'm going to focus on the draw cycle on this shot. Boy. Okay, that is smooth. Nice firm back wall. It's comfortable. Draw length's good. I like the 34 inch. Um, at my draw length, it's really hard to get a nice straight peep anyway. I feel like I feel like the peep's always canted just a tad. All right, there's a little bit of hand chuck, a little bit of vibration. It's pretty good, um, but it's noticeable. I don't feel like the bow is that loud. I think it's a quiet bow, shoots really nice. Going to the lift here. And they virtually almost have the same draw pattern. This one's got a little shallower valley. The lift has a little shallow valley. It does want to creep forward just a tad. It's not like one of those speed bows that creeps forward at like at the slightest relaxation. Um, but it, it's that shallow valley. Might have to do with the draw length and the, the SWX mods.
boy they're virtually the same i gotta do that one more time so i'm i'm literally going to shoot grab and shoot and i'm looking for the hand shot both of them shoot really well you can see my shorts on these videos uh, both of them shoot very consistently okay here we go just look going for hand shock deadness in the hand that was a horrible shot i'm gonna redo that i was focusing so much on the hand shock that i accidentally pulled the trigger early okay hand shock Prime. All right. I do think Matthews wins, but it is just by the smallest margin. I, I felt like there was a little bit of a residual vibration just for a, I mean, a scotch amount of time. All in all, Matthews Lift Prime RBX. Which one's better? Good golly, you're gonna have to shoot these ones yourself. Sorry I couldn't give you a, a better opinion, but man, they are about equal. Um, I would, I mean, honestly, I know I've given a bow dead rating on the RBX 34 before, but today after shooting them, comparing them side by side, I'd give both these boys like a 9.8 out of 10 on the bow dead scale. They're amazing bows. And uh, I think both of them are going to kill deer. There you go. Mow dad out.